Hello, good morning, good evening, good day everyone. Happy to be back. Not for long, unfortunately, <laughs> as always. I've <laughs> uh, been very busy. Life has caught me up. Um, as you can see, uh, also, we've been quite busy with uh, the rest of the BMS team um, to bring you the the last updates. Uh, you've probably seen the uh, the numbers of updates have uh, uh, exponentially increased in terms of uh, the way we the, the, the I would say first the time between each update has been um, shortening a lot lately. Um, I don't think we're going to keep the pace for the next update, to be honest, but I thought I would make this, uh, since I have a bit of time, fortunately, uh, this evening, I would uh, I wanted to make a, a short stream, uh, nothing too fancy, just, a, I would say, a casual flight, uh, probably me going back to tactical engagement, doing a bit of refueling, probably boring stuff to see and to watch, to be honest, but it's um, mostly for you guys to uh, um, ask questions. I'll try to... Uh, I'll uh, try to keep up with uh, with the questions. Obviously, there will be uh, questions I won't answer, or well, I, I'll be rather honest when I when I don't want to answer, I'll tell you. But uh, not everything can be answered. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you the the main guidelines or main headlines of uh, of what's happening <laughs> behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't, Mr. Radium. You know, I can't. I'd like to, and 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 really, I would love to, but I can't. I can't publicly. I can't. <laughs> uh, but at least I can answer questions. Uh, I can't really show anything uh, at this stage. Uh, but obviously, as soon as we're happy to share, we'll we'll be sharing and 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 and. So rest assured, I will be, I will be leaking officially uh, as part of the first thing I'll do, uh, probably. <laughs> All right. So I see the usual questions coming up. Um, so while I'm setting up the stream, let me just take a sip of water first. All right. So while we're setting up a short flight. Uh, mostly training. Um, let's uh, let's see your questions. Uh, I'll try to keep my phone. I have, uh, the numbers of, sc of screens I have uh, now is uh, is a bit uh, tedious to uh, to manage, but <laughs> nevertheless, I try to uh, to to uh, keep up. Uh, don't yeah. Don't take uh, what Mr. Radium says as for as uh, as granted. Um, is more or less uh, an insider and a former insider, former contributor, I would say. So um, <laughs> he's probably trying to give you false hints or false false information. Uh, I know, I know the guy. <laughs> All right, so let's see what do we have here. Um, so welcome everyone, Victor. Welcome Victoria. CS. Uh, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you there. 8 key 12 thank you for the questions i'll answer after so let's take things in order um so bms is currently the di directx 11 we uh, basically did the upgrade from directx 9 it was back in 434 435 started including the first um well the uh, the first version of the engine from uh, graphical engine from bms uh using DirectX 11 API calls and 4.3.6 is in the continuity of 4.3.5 and we've upgraded a bit the uh, the, uh, 3D, the 3D engines. More to come in future major versions in terms of um, in uh, increasing the capacity of the uh, graphics engine to um, uh, exploit the um, uh, DirectX 11 uh, API capa capability to to the maximum. Well, maximum is uh, is a, is very far fetched to be honest. It's at least if we if we are in a state where we can uh, um, already uh, have uh, uh, graphical improvements as 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 I would say any modern game would have. It's already something that we are aiming for. 
um, I do have high hopes for uh, for the future. Um, some of the insiders know what we're currently doing. I won't really disclose anything more than this, uh, but definitely we're looking into uh, um, putting more stuff uh, into the graphical engine. Um, I see a lot of questions also about the um, uh, VR stuff. Uh, yeah, VR is obviously coming. Uh, the state we are in currently for VR um, is uh, VR is kind of working. Well, working is a big word. It's it's implemented as we speak in our internal uh, playground with the 4.3.6 version. Um, it's it's just that it's it's not really playable at this stage. Um, it's not really uh, usable, um, to be honest. I'm, I'm not the a big VR fan, but I do have a VR headset, um, and uh, but it, uh, it it needs first it needs uh, a lot of um, um, correction in terms of uh, vis um, I, I would say correctly implementing the both eyes. Um, so that's the first part. Uh, it's it's going along well so far, um, but the I would say the far terrain looks okay, but the closest objects are still uh, giving me head headaches. To be honest, it's, I really feel after 10-15 minutes a bit easy because we are still not into a, a situation where VR is 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 mature enough for for more perspective uh, once we've got something that is uh, suitable from or um, consideration then we'll start the optimization process and this is where probably it's going to take a lot of time um, well I don't know how how much time it's really difficult to give a timeline but we'll definitely have a couple month of um, of optimization uh, once we consider that the um, that VR is implemented correctly in the plans um, in, in the plans thank you five bits uh, in the plans to be honest um, the current state is we're going to have a couple new features that will come up in the next, uh, would say, major version. I don't know what we will be calling it, to be honest, and there's no real decision internally on, on what's going to be the next name for the uh, for Falcon uh, BMS, um, but definitely VR. Uh, we don't we don't see VR out of the, the picture of the next big release. So. For us, VR is definitely part of the next release uh, or next major release. Um, there might be something in between if we want to have bugs, bug fixes, uh, but it will not be anything more. If we have a U4, basically it will be nothing more than uh, than bug fixes. We we do have some stuff pending on the AMRAMs and um, and and tweaks in order to improve. I would say the last bits of reports we've got from uh, from the Fox3 um, uh, and the new homing system of the uh, of the fox trees so in the state of the uh, u3 i consider that is far um it's um well advanced we've got something that is very near i would say something uh, that we consider as a, as the state of the art um but uh, definitely we need to push a, a, a quick fix or at least uh, some further fixes around there um, let me see. Do you have any question? Then we'll start uh, having a, a short flight. Um, yeah, I see VR. Please. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, uh, a lot of people, a lot of you guys are pushing for VR. This is coming. We were, as I said, working on it, but <clears throat> no promises so far. It's um, it's uh, going to be uh, um, a long run if we want to have uh, VR that is usable at this stage. To be honest. Um, new terrain will come at a later, later stage. Don't expect the new terrain to come up uh, in the next major release. Uh, we do have a lot of work to put in in order to have something in terms of uh, dynamic campaign, in terms of background engine that works with the new terrain. New terrain is, is functional. It works today. 
but it's impossible to actually have um, correct TEs. We haven't converted. It's it's basically changing everything. So we have to reconvert everything. Believe me, this is just a pain, and we do have a lot of features to add on top of that. Um, so we are still in the I would say design and thinking process. So it's going to be a bit of time before. Uh, before we push the um, the new terrain, um, maybe we'll push earlier, but we might be I uh, would say uh, lacking features or, or things like that. So, uh, but to be honest, we really are not in the same spirit of what DCS does and push features that are not, uh, I would say, considered as um, finished enough, and and we really don't want to enter into that that realm first because uh, uh, we really don't have time to catch up the community in terms of bug, in terms of uh, uh, quantity of exchanges we need to do with the community when, when we ship stuff that are not finished and uh, we just don't have the capacity to, to handle off that. So um, uh, the new terrain will probably come with its um, loads of features that will improve the graphics engine. What we will ship in, in the next release of BMS is going to be um, um mostly um vr with um we hope uh, to ship also graphicals engi graphical engine updates as well uh, but let's put expectations right a new terrain will not be part of it for sure um so no i i, I mean no definitely vr will not come in 2025 um we we expect that to come earlier um and 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 now in the new timeline of Falcon BMS, so the three, four weeks is more or less now closing to a real three, four weeks real time from now. And um, now I'm, we're, we definitely want to uh, have something in terms of uh, a month and, and not years we're counting for VR. So um, we'll see. Uh, the VR will not be a 4.4. Um, definitely not. I, I don't want to. Um, um, definitely not something that we uh, we uh, we want to uh, to uh, take in terms of uh, um, uh, I would say um, numbering <laughs> of BMS. Um, uh, Viper pits, uh, USB devices. Uh, well, uh, there might be some workarounds like. Uh, uh, putting your uh, def device sort sorting text file as a read-only, for example, um, access mapping, for example, read-only as well. If you really want to protect those files uh, from uh, any Falcon edition, because I understand the fact that yeah, sometimes when you plug deep plug uh, USB devices, it's um, it's definitely uh, creating issues uh, in the uh, Falcon allocation. So yeah. Uh, sneak peek? No, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, two weeks ago, she's what? 20 years old. Yeah. Uh, well, can you say that BMS is 20 years old? Oh, actually, yeah. Um, yeah, team actually is... Uh, well, it's... it's the, some of the guys in the, in the team, even though they're not active anymore, are definitely um, still... Uh, still wandering around uh, 20 years later. So um, definitely uh, part of the team and uh, having a recollection of what's happening. So of what happened 20 years ago. Predates BMS, yeah. Well, BMS, uh, I think it, we can say BMS was founded there or something. I think when I migrated the forums and stuff like that, I do have uh, posts from the forums that were from 2000. Uh, 9, 2010, something like that. So, um, I mean, you've got people here that were definitely uh, around when BMS actually emerged from the uh, from the depth of the dark web, like uh, Mr. Bad Boy around here. <laughs> um, can you tell me anything about the Terrainus updates? Um, so, what can I tell you about about the terrain updates? Um, so it's definitely going to change everything you know about the terrain. Um, we're going to go into a direction that matches the um, 
uh, would say modern sim standards in terms of uh, terrain rendering. So there's probably going to be something stuff like tessellation. So using a bit more um, stuff that are shipped with the direct X11 um, API. Um, in terms of texturing, it would be night and day. Um, so any theater creator basically will have to start from zero. Um, let's be very clear about that. Uh, nothing is going to look like uh, the process of building a theater, the process of managing the database. Uh, um, well, databases would be the site because obviously um, uh, we're not changing the database format from Falcon uh, directly, but the 3D database would definitely change because we can't continue to work with a database as we as we have it today in 436. Um, so there will be uh, there will be a new format for the 3D data database that will be suiting better uh, the technology uh, well technological gaps or leap forward that we'll be doing with the uh, with the new engine. And um, we can definitely decorrelate uh, the um, the terrain rendering from the rest of the engine. Um, so um, this is something we're, we're looking into is maybe instead of uh, um, having, I would say a lot of, a couple goodies in the next release with VR, uh, because we'll be looking into gaining any bit of optimization we can get, whether it is from the new 3D database format, or uh, anything that will gain more FPS for, uh, from from Falcon perspective will definitely be something we'll be looking into. So uh, yeah, um, uh, definitely something uh, to uh, to uh, to check. I think Mr. Viper Pits right now is uh, trying to. Uh, <laughs> it's not a market. It's not a free market. You're coming in and having, uh, and uh, and uh, like in a grocery store where you you ask for apple oranges and things like this. <laughs> the problem is that um, the appetite to cover custom pits uh, depends on the team and what we've got. Um, uh, and what we've got internally for testing. So we've got a couple people within a team that have, uh, I would say, um, cockpits. But then the way they are projecting the um, the uh, uh, projecting the uh, the the 3D world from Falcon uh, outside of their custom pit pit is a bit different than what others have. So there are plenty of ways of actually either projecting with projectors with TV, uh, three sets of TV screens or um, uh, computer screens. So there's not one person with one type of setup. So um, um, so yeah, depends. Um, whenever we've got reports of people using actually uh, specific pits and we need to improve those things, um, we try to do it internally, but that depends on the time of the depth, that depends on the uh, willingness of the team to actually uh, um, do some, some stuff around there. So um, we'll see. Uh, there, there's no, there's never been anything we said no, or at least we we try to set now expectation when it comes to th stuff that we know are very far down the, the, uh, the, the roadmap of, of BMS. Um, we are f f f uh, too far, I would say, too tiny group in terms of quantity of people now actively developing BMS to um, uh, consider that uh, we can uh, cater for everything in terms of, uh, of uh, improvements. Um, um, I know people get overexcited sometimes. We've got a, a hopefully a very good uh, uh, community base uh, of people that are fans from the first days or newly discovered BMS and, and really like it, the environment and the um, and the way it's being built and the way it's we, we try to keep that spirit from the from Falcon 4.0. And um, so we, we do value that. The problem is uh, we, we don't we definitely need the skills and, and, and the quantity of people and we choose quality of over quantity. So um, um, anyway, to help out. Uh, 
let's say so far what we need is hands to um, uh, development is always a good thing uh, when people have uh, well mostly here uh, C C++ skills um, but what we're looking into to be very honest is that we're looking for people with commitment in terms of time and also knowledge when it comes to code actually we are very picky so there's very few chance that if you come out of the blue uh, we'll pick your um, application uh, straight in um, but we definitely need uh, um, a bit more beta testing we're definitely lacking on that part documentation also is a bit tough because we we, we don't have enough writers within the team to carry on all the uh, the things that we need to revamp we have a huge project of revamping um, all, all of our docs but the problem is it takes too much time and uh, we can't wait for the docs to actually ship in for a major release to come up so that's why sometimes uh, there's a um, there's a bit of um, uh, discrepancy of expectation in terms of documentation and what we've got. The problem is that documentation was more or less ruling before in terms of uh, we were waiting for documentation to ship before we were shipping a new um, uh, a new major release. But and for now we want to push the features before having everything fully documented. So I know we've got stuff uh, that are lacking and especially people have been requesting a new Dash 1. Let's be very clear about this. We cannot update the Dash 1 that is it exists in 435. It's unfortunate. This is a blocker we've got. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, it's not technical blocker, it's something else. So we need basically to redo the entire Dash 1 um, from uh, from ground up and it's going to take time um, and meanwhile we try to ship um, in the manuals and the training one especially uh, the uh, new features we've been uh, we've been trying to implement no but we're thinking about it um, it's it's very serious ID uh, right now but um, uh, we'll see. There's uh, there are ideas about it, um, but or it might take a couple years actually before we are have something ready for that. Uh, unless we've got someone that has uh, the ability and the time to develop that and, and ship something very soon, um, I, I can't tell at this stage to be honest. Things tend to go very fast, but our focus right now is on VR. And, uh, and other things that uh, keep a bit secret, so you can actually have a bit of a surprise. VR is not a surprise anymore, so we've been discussing about that so many times that um, it's not a it's not it's not a surprise anymore. So uh, I'm 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 fairly open about that topic. Um, so yeah, uh, anything terrain related uh, will probably be started over by the end of this year, probably beginning of next year. Uh, but it will take time. All right, I talk a lot, but I don't fly. Uh, let's see. Um, you know what? I've been so time. The thing about I used to stream a lot a year ago, or 18 months ago, I would say. Um, and uh, now my streaming days are almost over. Uh, whenever I can, actually, I try. So today was a bit exceptional. And, um, and and to be honest, it's like a, it's it's like riding your bike. You don't really forget, but you need to practice in order to keep up the momentum and keep up the uh, the training. Uh, so um, yeah, let's go. Uh, I won't challenge myself into uh, trying the basket refuel. <laughs> But first, let's try. <laughs> I, I suck at basket refuel. I I, I even have. Uh, I it's, it's I, I'm I'm so bad at it to be honest. I'm so bad. I think the comms plan should be fine. Oh yeah. Well, it's a training anyway, so the uh, the profile would be uh, would be loaded anyway. Um. I'm going to go balls in 
and uh, let's hope that uh, channel 11 I think would be the correct tinker one Bingo! Bingo! Alright, let me share the NFDs. Alright. What do I have? Uh, I need to find a tanker. It's probably this guy at yeah, 24,000 seems to be. Uh, the right altitude. The bingo. Two in position. <laughs> Scared you. Uh, probably going to change the bingo. To be honest, it's, uh, it's pretty high. So twelve hundred. Going to set uh, which of eleven and. Request air refueling. Is it 11 or 13? I can't remember. Let's see, I think it's 13. No, I'm not sure. Goblin 31, Canteen 11, you are number one to refuel. Goblin 31, Canteen 11, you are clear to pre contact position. Thank you, Radio. <laughs> ah, it's good to fly a bit, to be honest. It's been so long. No, uh, the problem is that you only fly uh, for testing, you don't fly for leisure. It's weird. There's no fault this way here. Okay, well. Check the test. Bingo! Bingo! Alright, now we've got... Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. We're we need to refuel quite fast. TVT is coming soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hope so. Um, we need to define a time. To be honest, this uh, we need uh, well, we need a bit of coordination. So we'll discuss that. Gina. I know. <laughs> I know, but uh, we we are only two guys to coordinating the TVT. We need a bit more to help us on the on the topic before we commit to a date. Otherwise, I'm going to be uh, it's going to be uh, driving uh, us crazy, to be honest.
Yeah, what I want to avoid for next TVT is the... Um, I think a couple of things burned people out, um, like the... Um, what we thought was a good idea of bringing up a bit of tension and uh, competition between the two uh, teams are, um, actually ended up to be uh, difficult to handle, but it was uh, like the first uh, month of COVID, so people were actually a bit on edge, so I think it did not help either. Alright, so I'm sure he's going to say that is uh, entering. Goblin, 3 1, canteen, 1 1. Heads up, tanker is entering turn. And as soon as I am. Goblin, 3 1, canteen, 1 1. Cleared to contact position. Alright, there you go. Cleared, he's going to turn. And connecting in turn is just a major headache. Let's try to find formation. It's been so long that I suck at that. I think he's running 300 there. I need to get up and move myself forward. And this is the kind of practice you need to do in TBT because believe me, Definitely need to uh, to refuel to some extent in TVT. And, uh, can't shake it. The thing is that don't get nervous when you're trying to refuel. It's never good. It doesn't help. And uh, never look too much at the boom. Try to have the um, Try to have the shape of the plane as a reference and not the boom, otherwise definitely going to have issues. Uh, so you see, you can be a dev and suck at refuel, pretty much. <laughs> this is not showing the best skills, to be honest. We've got plenty of people that do better than I do. Yeah, chasing a needle in a haystack. No, not in a haystack, but here. Definitely not the best way to uh, get back on the saddle and trying to refuel when the tanker is turning. It's just a nightmare. And it's not the best model I've seen around. Ah, there we go. He's going back to parallel wings. Going to uh, calm down a bit. We're moving forward. So good momentum. Passing on the side a little bit. Speed good. Recentering myself. Goblin, 3 1, stabilize. I've stabilized. And I should be refueling anytime soon. There we go. Contact. Ah, shit. Disconnect. Aft. Backwards, take a bit of uh, M2. No, 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 no. Goblin, 3 1, stabilize. I am stabilizing right now. Contact. contact. Up and backwards. There we go. 
taking fuel. Two thousand. You often have to relax on the stick, to be honest. Uh, I don't have a, 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 a whole sensor, a pressure sensor stick, so uh, I do still have the uh, original Warthog mechanism on the stick. Because um, I'm not doing only uh, F-16 simulations. Uh, other flight sims, uh, the uh, pressure stick is not always the best. Uh, to handle for the type of sims, especially civil sims, to be honest. Yeah, um, I think the maximum is going to be to, for me seven, seventy-two. I don't think I've got bags. Do I have bags? So six thousand. That yeah, was really lacking a few there. But usually you don't top up. Yeah, VP, you need to uh, you need to practice again. Huh? Especially for the TVT, this is going to uh, be a uh, part of the the skills. Seven thousand. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I think I've got enough. Uh, I'm going to say. Goblin three two and team one one cleared the contact position. And uh, Roger. stack up on the right wing. This is supposed to be the position you're supposed to take to uh, wait for the weak man. Contact. Our CDI is going to be a far better better job at it than I did. coming, yeah, VR's coming. <laughs> you know what? I, I didn't watch a single episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> so, I only know the uh, the Winter's Coming stuff, but I, I never watched any episode of Game of Thrones. Um, Goblin, three, two, and team, one, one. I'll exit now. 
too. All right. Um, any requests from you guys? Should I practice something else? You know what? Um, we've got something that might be interesting. He works to be have it supported. Um, there's a tool called F4 uh, Radar. I can't remember. I always uh, mix up between F4 Radar and F4 AWAX. I think it's F4 Radar for one of the dev guy um, Tumblr, and um, it's actually able to uh, connect to the uh, to Falcon and uh, and um, and you can actually perform uh, human GCI. Uh, but F4 AWAX is not compatible anymore. Uh, you need to uh, you need to use F4 Radar. Uh, you can find it somewhere on the on the forums, part of the official tools we're distributing anyway. So um, uh, you can get yourself familiar with it. It should be compatible with 4.3.6 update three. So don't hesitate to um, to use it and uh, play a bit with it, obviously. So the last time, uh, since I suck at BFM. Uh, I got myself kicked by an F-14, if <laughs> you believe me or not. I found the 14 was actually harder than I thought in terms of uh, challenge, especially at uh, ace level. Uh, the more, the most, um, familiar, I would say, uh, trained humans on uh, BFM will actually say AI is not a challenge anymore, but to most of us, Noobs, it's definitely a challenge, whatever plane you take. And for the most challenge, I would recommend the uh, Eurofighter or the F-22. Uh, they are very hard to uh, first detect. And secondly, uh, uh, they have... Uh, the turn rate is uh, awful. There's nothing uh, in the works for that. You can on only extract data from the plane, from the sim itself, but you cannot extract data from the OV, ATO, and I, I don't. I'm not sure exactly for what, but I guess it's for uh, it's for the uh, GCI stuff, so you have an idea of uh, the, the planes that are currently in, uh, in the air, I guess. Plan to a sorry. Altitude. Altitude. Oh shoot. Ah, I missed my shot. 
Oh no, there you go. Hey, shut his engine. Exclude it. Uh, because the team actually researched the uh, the sound stuff uh, for uh, the RWR. Well, you envy the guys with the ultra wide, but then you envy the guys with the uh, VR headsets, and then you envy the guy with <laughs> you know it never stops. I've been a bit, uh, to be honest, I've been a bit disgusted by the uh, by the the announcement uh, in terms of GPU uh, that were made recently. I, I really, personally speaking, I really think that they 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 think we're fools and uh, we are ready to uh, I would say uh, pay anything for any for for a GPU. I mean, there's um, there's something that I find a bit annoying is the willingness to um, go for stuff that are actually, I mean, we are in a situation right now where energy is super expensive, um, cost of components are, and components are lacking, cost of components is super high, we've got at least a 20 to 30 percent increase in those. And manufacturer are thinking that we will be ready I mean maybe it's only me but people, they think that we will be ready to pay Lock. something that doesn't make sense in terms of uh, for me it doesn't make sense to pay that much and it would even be for me responsible to, uh, to buy a GPU that, that consumes Lock. as much uh, watt per hour as this one I mean come on does it does it really mean something? I mean, unless you're a YouTuber and you want to make the the best out of your config because it's part of the things that you uh, you sell to your viewers. But for casual simmers like us, uh, come on, do you really need that horsepower? When are you really going to altitude? Use it? It's, altitude. It's a waste of time. Yeah. It's a waste of, of, of energy. It's a waste of electricity. It's a waste of, a waste of time for us. Why is it not doing nothing? I think it's super slow. Creating a BFM issue. Let's uh, sort the air brakes. Alright. <laughs> well played. The fox to be wasted. Warning, 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 oh, warning. Yeah. So. When it comes to GPU, I'm waiting to see what AMD is going to do. Um, maybe they're going to help the, ba the, the market to rebalance a bit. Yeah, because on top of uh, having the uh, to buy uh, a new GPU if you want a new config, uh, you will need to. Uh, you will need to buy a new PSU and uh, it's going to cost a lot and basically when you buy a super high-end graphic card you're going to need to invest probably a 500 extra bill to get a proper PSU um, that's going to support the, uh, the graphic card. I mean there's a real discrepancy. Um, uh, and I do work in IT and I, I exactly know what's happening in terms of a uh, company trying to be energy efficient. So from one end you've got the um, companies that are trying to be as most efficient in use, uh, try to do energy savings and try to be efficient in the way they consume energy and in the overall consumption of materials. Um, so you will find super efficiency uh, in all the uh, data centers such as AWS, Azure and all of that. 
and when it comes to uh, gamers, uh, it's like this train has never existed. Uh, all this, all this engineering that people have done around uh, saving energy, saving, uh, I mean, the, the efficiency, what per, uh, per whatever compute power, what, whatever metrics you take, um, I think it makes sense to continue that trend for consumers. Anyway, I need to extend a bit and regain the uh, speed. Tap, flare. Altitude. Altitude. Ah, uh, come on. Oof. Ah, I got Warning, it. warning. Warning, warning. Oof. Caution. Yeah, I don't Caution. Think it. No. I've been stolen. <laughs> yeah, but let's face it, what uh the consumers like us don't need the machine learning to do this. What are you going to do machine learning with? Um, it's used for data processing mostly. Uh, what what data are you going to process on your end? It makes more sense to compute that data if you need to uh, do some stuff. Uh, you know, even BMS, uh, people are amazed by the AI and the way it behaves, but that's not mixed things. It, this is not true AI. This is a pre-scripted reaction engine that will behave differently based on the inputs and the, uh, the inputs of the player. So, and depending on the skills you set, it will react differently or with more latency. And those parameters are fixed and will uh, influence the preset uh, engine that Compose what we call the AI. Do, do we really need that for end consumer to actually have stuff that is uh, machine learning generated? I don't think so. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Uh, Altitude. Fair. Altitude. Altitude. Block. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know if I'll get him, but I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> I'm too slow. Ah, uh, maybe I have a shot. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. I got him! We're super slow. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Sirmi. It's been a while. It's been a while, I agree. All right, we'll we'll go into uh, analysis afterwards. <laughs> I still can defend myself, but to be honest, you want to see how you suck at this. You put a Euro fighter. Where is it? Uh, well, I'm going to put the recruit. I'm going to lower down at veteran. Uh, because I'm uh, not going to uh, out challenge myself, to be honest. I, I still, I still a noob on that. All right. Okay. Not them. 
So this is the closure rate. This is the uh, so this is the uh, uh, how do you call that uh, angle, and it's definitely uh, identified as a uh, Eurofighter. So one of the things I'll try is I'll try to be vertical maybe speed. I've already done a couple uh, fights in uh, VR in PMS. To be honest, this is very nice, uh, but I can't do it more than uh, 15 minutes because of the, the state of the VR currently. Definitely uh, giving you a bit of headaches. Got a shot up at you. He didn't take it, but it's oh yeah. altitude. Altitude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm doomed. I'm going to put as much pressure on him as I can. Create instability in his aim. Trying to. Oh yeah. fight I think I'm, I'm losing but I need to be a bit more creative on this one let's try to see what I can do I need to extend I can't retain altitude 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 pull up pull up pull up pull up yep it's there Altitude. Altitude. <laughs> and I'm too slow. Yeah, and what I'm trying to create is uh, because this is a delta wing, I'm trying to put him in a position where his delta wing will actually have struggle, like you know, like the Mirage. Warning, 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 warning. I have to warning, warning, take into account that the Knorr stuff is also taking. Uh, Helping him to some Altitude. extent, so maybe Altitude. I can try to get a hold of him at some point because he needs to get himself out of the ground. Block. Altitude. And okay, he's Altitude. behind, so now I might have an opportunity to invert. Flare. I need to pull play that. Up, pull oh, up, shit. pull okay. up. <laughs> uh, okay, let's be realistic. The Mafia guys don't have any connections to us in terms of development. Uh, they helped on the F-18, but they will be limited in what they can accomplish um, in any other pits they can provide so they can try um, but um, they've been basically working close circuits on what they've been doing so far so anyway and 
maybe uh, I'll need to test Mr. Radium's uh, plane with the new flight model. Uh, um, I think it's going to be integrated to uh, Israel ET theater. theater. Um, uh, so far, uh, I really had no time to start trying to integrate such a plane into the, uh, the database. Um, maybe one day I'll wait for IT to do something about it. I don't know if BP is still on there. I don't know if this, is, if this is a plane we want to integrate as part of the uh, stock database. <coughs> what I've um, seen so far is the AI will often go vertical uh, to read all the energy if it's been taking uh, by speeding up uh, on the first encounter. Oh, already? Oh, shoot. I'm dead. Am I? Uh, hold on, so let me post that for a sec. Um, let me check quickly. So... Okay, I hope this is going to be better. Let me know if this is the case. Well, now there's no background sound, but... Definitely should be better now. Um, I haven't touched really my mic, but I will put it back in my mouth. So for those who missed a bit the uh, early stage conversation I had, the uh, early stage of the stream, um, I've talked a lot about the, um, the, future, the future state of EMS and what we're planning to do in the near future. So um, don't hesitate to rewind and rewatch the start of the stream. Other than that, probably at the end of the uh, at the end of the stream, I'll do another Q and A. Because I think I'll die anyway. <laughs> it's been the third Black. time. I don't think I'll survive this third time. To be honest. Uh, yeah. Let me extend. Altitude. Going to go down. Altitude. Take speed and now try to go vertical. Because I have a little speed. Oh shoot! Warning, warning. You got me. Warning, warning. Yeah, mistake. I tried. I failed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. All right. Um, you know what? I'm. Uh, 
I love the hard mission. Let's play a bit with the Sams. Um, I really like uh, playing with those those guys. Playing with the terrain, even though I know it's not the best looking terrain you ever you've ever seen, but nevertheless, I think it's uh, nice. I'm in a good setup right now. Am I? Yes, I think I am. Alright, so uh, there we go. We've got um, the Sams. I'm uh, probably going to target the AC2 around here. I'm going to put myself into, let me stabilize, put the autopilot and put myself into air to ground. And I'm going to set up the hat here. Uh, in theory, if I really wanted to um, set up the uh, table. So this is uh, okay, 202. It's the tracking. System for these is a two. This one is a three, is a four, and I think I can have the one or two or three or two, if I remember correctly. It's the table one, so you manage the tables from the harm as a sensor. From there, let's borrow the harms. I can select harm as a sensor, but it's not hard on yet so I won't see anything. Meanwhile I can start playing with the uh, HAD. Trying to see what's uh, happening. The art preview here. <laughs> I'd like to but first it's not in a state where I can um, use it properly and secondly it's not part of the team um, motto to leak stuff publicly like that uh, although I, I would definitely like to um, I'm, 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 bound, I'm bound by my own rules not to uh, disclose anything from the team perspective uh, we all trust each other it's a matter of, of trust before anything else so um, Don't worry, um, we'll um, eventually start posting stuff on VR because uh, in the coming weeks definitely there will be a good progress on that, hopefully, internally. Once we're in a state that we think we can share, we'll do that, so don't worry about it. Soon enough you'll get, uh, you'll get something eventually. So the goal is to get more, first it's to get the um, firing systems, uh, for now I just have the search radars from the SA-2 as you can see here, the 2A, we've got the precise position here, we've got a SA-4 as well as you can see, we've got the position radar, and for now we don't have the tracking stuff. Yeah. Now the problem is that I need to train far more in terms of BFM to start uh, challenging myself with those kind of planes, yes. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Uh, so PGM still five. Uh, obviously, it's reducing as we see. We've got it better. So now, I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, take uh, myself out of the ring. I've got the jammer on, but I'm going to stay into the HAD 
tracking range and tracking lobes but um, we'll try to get a better pre precision on the um, so you see we've got a PGM4 what I'm going to do is invert stay in the 3.9 line of the SAM system probably going to lose a lot of altitude here but as long as I'm able to maintain 14,000 I uh, should be fine altitude altitude let's see yeah, I've lost that a bit, but nevertheless, I've got the other one here. Maybe I'll start uh, checking on the one more on my left. Uh, because I see we're almost in position for the 2A. I can start trying to see if uh, anything tracks around there. Precision on DSA-4 is still not good. Nevertheless... We have to uh, be very careful with uh, those guys. Alright, so we've got a bar lock. I think it's DSA-4. see it there. For another 4A, okay. L. So I guess this is what we're just starting to um, look for. Yeah, it's definitely tracking. It's um, I've been acquired, but it's not into. It's not really in a firing position, as we speak. Maybe I'll disconnect the ECM, and the tracker all of a sudden will be on me. I need to react quickly if anything happens. Oh, the tracking one. You see? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Let's target this guy. PGM4. And soon enough, you'll hear. He's <laughs> tracking either one in front. Yeah. Alright, it's right in front. So far. We have a PGM what? PGM three. And I think I can start to fire. Sitting off two hundred and fifty. Altitude. Altitude. There we go. Fire. It's not firing. Yeah, it's lost track anyway, so there we go. <laughs> All right, fire. Why is it not firing? Ah, it doesn't want. Have I done something wrong? Let's hold it on. Right, let's go play. Oh! Warning! Warning! <laughs> warning! Warning! I played too much. <laughs> Usually, I don't get uh, shot easily. Usually, I play with those SA2 like uh, like a kindergarten. It's the rust, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> it's considered it that way, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's not consider ourselves defeated yet. Let's start over. Not going to uh, get uh, myself uh, turned down by uh, a training. All right, uh, meanwhile, sorry, right, so so let's set up what we've got here. Shady. Sensor. So you see the table is now tracking 2T. So this is the one I want. Um, let's go back to the HSD. Uh, let's target this one to start with, the one on the right. I'm still on the autopilot. Let's put the hat here. Oh, yeah, I remember. No, I can't. Um, all right, so meanwhile, I'm going to put the uh, HSD here. Harmer sensor. I'm going to keep the tape one. Because definitely I want to target the... Um, uh, I really need to read back the manual about the uh, GSTI. Uh, I can't remember exactly, if, uh, to be honest, uh, no, no, not everything is implemented. So search, remember, those are profiles for the harm missile to actually search for a target of opportunity in the nearby vicinity of the target. And it will take either the same, so target, oh, TI is target eyes light. And GS is the gliding. And I think only one type of gliding is... Um, yeah, so TI. I will probably put TI as a different one to target one type. Let me speed up a bit. from now on. Look at that view. Oh, and by the way, soon, one day, the haze will disappear once for all. <laughs> once for good. <laughs> we have plans for this uh, white band that composed our Falcon Horizon. one day but one thing at a time all right there we go jammer on we are ready in the ring what I want right now is uh, for the uh, Sam to start targeting me so let me put myself in the 399 for now not to be targeted by two Sam's at the same time would be a mistake go we've got one SA2 behind let's put ourselves outside of the ring slightly or not really but at least getting back getting the closest tracking me 
And if we go at something, we should see something in the... Uh, if anything happens, we should be seeing something happening also on the harm as a sensor. Definitely something we want to see. Alright, there you go. Alright, go, go, go. There we go, we've got... That's the acquisition one, I guess. Getting myself ready to uh, evade if anything happens. Altitude. Altitude. I don't see anything for now. Ah, there we go. Let me see. A little 2T. Oops. Sorry, check our eyes doing some weird stuff. There you go. And now. We play with daddy. Good splash. Good. So we've done that. Harm of the sensor. Worked well. Let's not take ourselves too close from the ground. Definitely a mistake because uh, AAA or stuff could be uh, in the vicinity. All right, let's see for the second target. All right, so the acquisition stuff is there. Starting to have a decent speed, and I'm waiting for exactly the same. Uh, there we go. Altitude. Altitude. Fire. And now we play. fast to actually catch me. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. It's coming up from there.
up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Ah, uh, triple A. Chat, flare. <laughs> yeah, I need to be careful. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Altitude. All right, Altitude. so now it's going to be a, a thing about uh, Altitude. trying to waste as much mis as many missiles as we can for the SA2. Alright, we're back to nav mode. And I'm just going to wait for the SA2 to shoot me down. Or try to, at least. with it so much right now. I wonder where it will have uh, the boobies uh, waiting for the... Uh, there we go. Oh, I see that the Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reflexes. <laughs> Reflexes. All right. I think, to be honest, I'm uh, probably to call it a day. So, um, if you got any last questions, uh, requests, or comments, I'll be happy to take those. Oh, maybe while we are, uh, we might have a couple tech view stuff to share while before we completely sh shut down the stream. I'm not totally done yet. <laughs> Let's switch to the tag view stuff. Hope you can see. Uh, 
at least the uh, F14. I did go vertical. You see they are much more aggressive there. Oh, I tried something risky, going back up. Oh. Uh, so I got it. All right, let's see. Oh, I tried. Did not go well. So for those thinking that the AI is not doing his job properly, I say, I th really think the AI is actually doing a pretty good job there. <laughs> Might not be the best in the world, but so far I can tell you that it's uh, decent, very decent. I hope you see the tag view actually. I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm just seeing the chat, but I, I'm not, monitoring the stream itself. Oh, he tried hard to shoot me down. Oh, he did shoot me down. <laughs> Not only did, it, did he try it out, but it did shoot me down. All right. He's going vertical. I'm going downwards. Oh, Oh, my missile don't even try to track anything. Oh, uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's done. All right, let's see the second view. I think this is the, going to be the Eurofighter. Uh, this one's going to be uh, my doomsday. So you see the turn rate and the radius. I mean, it's always a matter of turn rate and radius. So um, here we are. We're kind of dancing very well, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm still the target, to be honest. But I've, uh, yeah, I've extended because I could not do anything. Extend it again. I was not going that bad, to be honest, but I tried to be a bit cheeky probably here by trying to go very narrow circles, inverted here. Yeah, I crashed. Too low. I tried the uh, semi vertical. Ah, oh, yeah, that was a fast one. Just eating rubber. So we pretty have the same radius. Turn rate was almost the same. And I went down. What happened? You see, I almost. Ah, uh, yeah, he got me there. I tried to. Ah, uh, this is when I tried to go vertical, and that cost me my, uh, my slight advantage that I gained. All right, now the C2 stuff. This is going to be interesting. Let's move forward a bit. Do 
empty the fire already? Oh yeah, there you go. Why don't I see the harm? Oh, there you go. I did track and boom. Okay. And then it lost track. And what happened to my second missiles then? Okay, so I tried. I did definitely had a position. Oh! Okay. That was weird because I definitely had a lock. <laughs> Dancing with missiles. You see that? Oh! <laughs> this is the thing that is a bit more the most thrilling part, to be honest. Oh, they tried to shoot me down, but I'm going too fast. Oh, and it was my second run, yeah. I did not see this. Oh, okay, I tried to fire under uh, to shoot the ground, but I uh, missed them. Definitely not an A10. And this is my last run where I got a bit cocky, and yeah, there you go. I tried too much, too hard. All right, well, this was fun. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, Definitely was uh, for me uh, a way to come back to Falcon in the streams. I hope I'll have time in the near in the coming weeks to actually show you more if I can or not, or at least streaming. This is the thing that I'm missing the most lately, to be honest. So, um, hoping you liked it. Hoping that your uh, questions were answered. And, um, well, you can keep up with uh, the conversation and questions on the Falcon Lounge Discord. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, very passionate community members and developers hanging around in the Falcon Lounge Discord. Uh, we've got the forums, the website. Don't hesitate to ask questions. We've got a plenty of people always ready to help. And this is the beauty of... Uh, this community, there are other community where things go well as well, but this one is particularly very helpful, despite what others say about us. <laughs> anyway, I wish you a very good night, very good day or morning, wherever you are, and perhaps see you soon for another stream. All right. Take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye.